Hey friends, it's me, Micah. This is the Homestead Bandwagon. Thanks for hanging out with me. We're checking out a tractor today. This is the Coyote NS series. N is in Nancy, S as in Super Tractor. Uh, Nancy Super Tractor, that's that's what they're called. Uh, let's uh, just get up close to this thing and, uh, and check it out. Brand new tractor from Coyote. Okay, so this is the first one we've had in here. This is the NS. 6010 6010 this is the hydrostatic KL5810 loader loader lifts I don't know about seven feet tall you can look up specs somewhere I don't do science stuff on this channel here's your bucket obviously you're gonna have a skid steer quick quick connect normal stuff uh, front end on this thing looks pretty burly nice beefy front end on this it's nice there's a shield here that's a good setup. And pretty decent amount of clearance. Look at that. Pretty decent. Real nice. There's your exhaust coming out there. <clears throat> I like having a fuel tank down here so I don't have to lift a gas can. Some people don't like it, but I like having that down there. Look at this marker light. This is nice. A little white light down here. Kind of shines light down on where you're stepping or whatever. That's nice. Everything's tucked away pretty good. There's a little shield. Huh. That's a nice thought. Starter's easy to get to. Oh, that filter's protected. Like that. Framework. That's smart. And this step is solid. I've been jumping up and down on this thing. You can get on here with two feet, jump up and down, it don't move. Really, really thick rubber mat. Look at that guy. That's a monstrous mat right there, holy smokes. And I like that they shielded your valve stems there. Mirror, I love these mirrors chunky grab handle this uh the rops here rotates from the bottom so you could really get this into really low doorways so remote hydraulics here's your dipstick for your rear end there's your fill electrical so on the back here you can raise and lower your three point with that guy really really nice big rear end but you can still get in here and fiddle with stuff you can still get in there and fiddle with stuff that's nice this guy you push it down and then you can pull this out so if you're not perfectly even with an implement you can still hook up to it less fooling around I like these and these look pretty stout holy smokes pull that pin change your width throw your pin back in Nice and easy. Really, really nice. Look at how far this PTO sticks out. Holy smokes. Wowzers. That's like sitting out a foot. <laughs> and the draw bar is even... Sticks out even farther. You might take that off and put it away. Looking pretty good. Yeah, so they... This... Seems like it's based on the older DK, according to my boss. You can see this ROPS was probably probably mounted up here, and they stretched the whole cab backwards, and so now it's mounted here, just to give us some more leg room. No sidestep here, but that could be fixed. Hoses are tucked around, tucked away really, really nice. These hoses, yeah. That's some good hose routing. Batteries easy to get to. Air cleaner. 
Yep. All your radiators. Yeah, your radiators are very easy to access. The screen can be pulled out easy. Just gotta make sure your loader's up so you can pull this out. Oil filter. There's your fuel filter. Sight glass, nice primer. If you want to change your filter out, get purge the, the air out of the lines. Real easily accept, accessible. Real nice. What about the other side? Oh yeah, you can get in here. No problem. Starters, super accessible. Alternator. Oh, hey, is that a little turbo? Hey, hey little buddy. Looks pretty good. Oh, look at this though. Don't idle the engine except as necessary. <laughs> It says deep it's a DPF system diesel particulate filter you don't run the engine at idle okay so I'm on the operator station and it is nice and roomy even for a, a big feller I um, can't really see it but just take my word for it uh, let's show you uh, the controls here okay very normal dashboard this is Coyote's 80 different function uh, light switches here, turn signals, horn, lights, uh, cruise control set so you can cruise your RPMs, four wheel drive, there's your flashers, keys right here, I'm not going to bang your knee in it, into it, that's nice, PTO, auto or manual on this PTO, so if you raise your three point and this is on auto, You'll turn your turn your PTO off so you're not throwing mud everywhere or chopping the air or you know whatever. And that's your uh, your uh, manual regen button or the regen uh, shut off, which don't want to be using that much. This little pedal here, push it. Hey, there's your tilt steering and cutting brakes if you need them, which you won't. This thing turns amazingly tight. There's your park and brake lever, forward and backwards pedals, and uh, I'm not banging into nothing while using these or the brake. Um, my leg does kind of hit the range select here. Here, if I sit back a little bit, now I'm not doing it. And this is really nice. Um, so the transmission on these is not fly by wire, which was a problem with the NX. Sometimes you had to reprogram the transmission. So this is analog. But they slide really nice. It's just notchy enough that you don't feel like it's going to go popping out of gear while you're driving. But you have to be in neutral to start, so there's neutrals above and below each gear. Just in case it doesn't want to fall into gear, that way you can get it into neutral, move forward a little bit, stop, and then pop it into whatever gear you got to get into when you're driving. So that's nice. And here's my joystick control for the loader. That's a good position. My arm is relaxed in this position. Uh, no armrest on these, which is fine, because you don't want to rest your arm while you're working that. And this is for uh, those rear remotes. So this is just a momentary. It doesn't have a detent in it. And then height of your three-point. And then draft control for your three-point. That's a really nice feature. Your beverage container or your beverage holders all the way back here though and a little baby toolbox behind the seat it's got a seat belt too that's important and then down here look at that we got a suspension seat that's how you control the pressure of it and you can move the seat backwards and forwards there's a lever whoops all the way back speed at which your three-point drops and there's a little Yep, there's your pedal for your rear locker. Pretty good. 
line of sight up here. This is right at where my eyes are. I'm about six feet tall. So these loader arms aren't coming up too far where it's hard to see stuff. Having those mirrors I think is really nice. Uh, let's uh, let's start it up and see if I can find some keys. Now this is the 60 horse. They make this in a 45, a 50, and a 55. Oops. Let's see here. BTO off. Off, yep. And we gotta be in neutral. That's right. And you have to be do you have to be sitting? Yep. Sitting. And the brake probably has to be on. Let's see if I can just have the brake on and not sit in the seat and start it. Whew. From the uh, RPMs up, you pull this back to RPMs up. Super tight turning radius, so you can you can spin a circle in the middle of the street. Um, just use a teeny bit of the of, of the uh, of the shoulder. Really nice. All right, well, we got it parked, but yeah, solid tractor. Love the turning radius. Loader lifts super stinking tall with a, a good lift capacity and a super 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 solid uh, hydrostatic transmission in these tractors. So there you go. The the, the Coyote NS series, this is the NS6010, they got a 4710, a 55, I don't know, all sorts of, all, all sorts of NS, then numbers, and then a 10. Um, yeah, go check her out. See ya.